Uh, my name is David Atienza. I am professor of electrical engineering. I'm the director of the Embedded Systems Laboratory at EPFL in Lausanne. In the Solar Impulse project, we were in charge of monitoring the physical activity of the pilot and in particular checking if they had arrhythmias or any pathologies in the heart. We developed a special type of sensor, very small one, that you could attach to the fabric of the clothing of the pilot and you could monitor in real time if there was any pathology or any anomality in his heart. The link between uh, biomedical data and electric engineering in principle is not much. In reality, they are both kind of signals that are, have similar features and similar, similar amplitudes and frequencies. So in reality, if you know how to do electric engineering, you know how to do biosignal processing. With a diploma in electric engineering from EPFL, you can get uh, plenty of jobs in Switzerland because the competences you develop are uh, applicable to many fields like energy, uh, computer science, uh, monitoring uh, the buildings, and many different things that you can do in Switzerland. In this project it was interesting the fact of having something that we typically do in the hospital in a very controlled environment, but the, for the case of solar impulse we have to do it in a plane, which is not typical for a normal setup for medical equipment. A student at EPFL to be successful requires to be First of all, of course, you always have a level of knowledge on mathematics, physics, and basic science, but also you need to have a lot of dedication and never give up. And what I like most in engineering is the fact that you can try and do new things and test them. In the end, you finish proving everything in real life. The difference between the academic world and the business world is in principle, in the academic world, you can think further. You don't have to really deliver something uh, in a very short period of time, you can think in the long term, whereas in the business world you have to produce a product that you can sell. For new students that are trying to learn what they want to do in life, I would suggest to simply choose the first field in engineering that they feel comfortable with, because the opportunities to move between one field and another is not really, are not really complex.